New York State Democrats posed with a poster of a plane with the words climate change on that plane aimed right at the World Trade Center, the Twin Towers. Joining us now, New Jersey Congressman Jeff Van Drew. So this climate, it's good to see you, Congressman. This good climate, to see you. This climate justice rally in Albany, they're trying to use 9-11 for climate change? This is just weird. I mean, literally, the lack of compassion, the lack of humanity, of humility, and the level of stupidity to make that comparison and not to care about all those people who lost their lives in the greatest tragedy that's ever happened on our homeland. Uh, it's like becoming some kind of a bizarre religion now. It's too much. Of course, we are concerned about climate change, but we're concerned about human life and the future of the country and the country being strong. Yeah, the state. Lawmakers now apologize, say they didn't claim they didn't see the content of the sign, and the the group running the rally, New York Renews, condemned this banner. Uh, let's talk about this. The president did campaign on getting the U.S. off of uh, oil and onto green energy. Is now the time to do that? The Democrat senators are saying no. This is not the way to do it. I mean, what he's doing. You know, I'll be honest with you. I think he is a feckless and weak leader, and every single thing he does every single day, there's a new level, quite frankly, of stupidity that goes along with it. So when he started out in the beginning and did his executive order and said that he was going to reduce, you know, energy and reduce our energy presence, especially fossil fuels, that was a huge mistake. All that he's done has not only created the problems that we have with the price of gasoline, it actually has created the problems that we have um, literally with Russia, because Russia recognizes that we're weaker now. They recognize that we have our knees bent down to them, to China, to Iran, to Venezuela. I mean, why would we ever do this when we have the potential in the United States of America yeah. to be number one in energy? And we were, Liz. Yeah, now they're talking like they're pro-energy, but they shut down leases on federal, new leases on federal lands. They encourage Wall Street and banks to divest from fossil fuel companies. They installed antagonists at the EPA, the Federal Reserve, the Department of Interior. The Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg, talking about the Keystone Pipeline, said, quote, we need to make sure we're not galloping after permanent solutions to immediate short-term problems. He says the fix is more permanent electric vehicles when the U.S. power grid is fueled by natural gas and oil to make electricity. Do they even talk like they know that? I, I don't think they really understand that it's the way you make electricity is also by using fossil fuels. I don't think they know how much we're going to depend on China and other countries for the rare elements and minerals and things that you need in batteries. I'm not sure they understand that batteries themselves are polluters and you're going to have real issues after a while when you've got to dispose of them and get rid of them. I'm not sure they know how much it yeah, costs it, to run windmills and it costs to actually have solar it, it, panels. It is, Let's be realistic. Yeah. Yeah, voters are getting, the polls show, voters are getting angry about this. The White House keeps whipping fastballs by the American people. Biden is knocking out U.S. energy and importing way more crude oil. Imports from Russia went up 41 percent under Biden versus Trump. And remember the dozens of green energy companies that went bankrupt beyond Solyndra yes. after the Obama White House gave away tens of millions of dollars in federal taxpayer money? So there's dozens and dozens of them. We show that. Now the White House, the president, he met, last November he talked about getting the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, to investigate price gouging by oil and gas. Senator Warren is talking about this. So now we're going to see these hearings to shift blame away from their bad policies and how anti-U.S. energy they are to go after the oil companies. Are we going to see that again? We saw that under Obama. Will. It's convenient politically, but the real truth is that our carbon footprint is only 15 percent on the world, and the real truth is our energy is cleaner, and the real truth is we give all kinds of special breaks to China and Russia and other countries, and they do whatever they want, right. including coal, but <clears throat> we actually punish ourselves, hurt our American people, and give everything away to those on the outside, these other countries. Well, you know, if they, if they care so much about green energy, then don't turn on the light. Right? Because that's where electricity comes from. I got to tell you, when we had that Democrat led uh, House oversight hearing last fall, and California Democrat Ro Kahana asked oil executives here, Are you embarrassed as an American company that your production is going up while Europe's production is going out? going down. Congressman Jeff Andrew, that's when we knew that was a turning point, that we were at a, a new hinge point in U.S. history where they were going, the Democrats are just going to go full down the road with green energy when the infrastructure is not there. Final word. 
Look, we can use nuclear energy. You have to use some fossil fuels, and we can certainly work on, you know, recyclables and other energies that, you know, are renewable. But we have to do it without killing and hurting the American people. Got it. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, good to see you. Come back soon.